Hello! Last time I showed you how to clean your dirty speaker fabric grills so they look like new. But today I'll show you some tips and tricks. How to clean any home speakers easy and how to achieve them looking better again. With time. A lot of dust accumulates on loudspeakers. It doesn't affect the sound but it does degrade the appearance of the speaker and as we well know. In the audiophile world placebo has a great power on the sound quality. Over the years I have bought more than 100 different second-hand audio systems and they have all needed cleaning. Mostly on the outside, but rarely on the inside. To clean the speakers you need a microfiber cloth soaked in warm water, but it should not be too wet, just slightly damp. Then start washing the loudspeaker enclosure with the cloth. Speaker boxes are most often made of plastic or MDF with a lamination top layer so they can be cleaned safely with a slightly damp cloth. Don't be afraid to clean speaker drivers too. Just make sure the cloth isn't too damp and that your touch is very gentle. Rinse the cloth from time to time to make sure that no dirt accumulates. Once you have cleaned all the surfaces once, do it again, because it is not easy to clean away the history or dust by doing it once. The first wash collects the surface dust and moistens the layer of history underneath. The second wash will have left the dirt layer soft and will clean it off. Unscrew the speaker terminal to make it easier to clean around the screws. Also, don't forget to clean the bottom of the speaker box. If possible, remove the speaker feet and clean them. After dusting the enclosure at least two times, it is necessary to restore the gloss of the enclosure to the speaker box and make the surface easier to maintain. Any furniture cleaner you can buy at Home Depot works well for this purpose. You also need a dry microfiber cloth. Once you have read the instructions for using the cleaner, apply it to the speaker box and use the cloth to spread it evenly over the surface once it has dried. Massage or polish it in. This will create a smooth protective layer that is easy to dust off. Don't forget to treat all surfaces. These products often also create an anti-static coating, which will repel some dust particles. These two before and after pictures show the difference after using the furniture cleaner. The black color is vibrant and expressive again. If the speaker cabinet has scratched surfaces, this can easily be slightly removed with a black marker. If your system is a different color, you can use a felt tip pen or crayons of the particular color. Correcting the facts in this way makes them less eye-catching and gives the system an overall fresher look for a nicer look. After clean the surround rubber can be buffed with clear leather shoe polish. This adds shine and will not harm the rubber used to surround the speaker driver. I hope this video was useful and taught you something new. I have been thinking of making a video on how to safely buy a second-hand speaker system at the best price. Would this type of video interest you? I have bought over 100 second-hand systems in over 10 years and would like to share this knowledge with you if you would be interested. But for now, I wish you a nice weekend, time to relax and enjoy the music. Bye!